All right, guys, uh, this is Coach Brooke with CrossFit Olaf. Um, I'm doing something a little different today. I'm using the Coach's Eye app to compare movement patterns. Um, what we are going to be working on today is, or touching base on, is going to be keeping our chest up and our shoulders back in our snatch pulls. Um, I demoed two different um, snatch deadlifts, one with good form with my chest coming through and my shoulders back and my back's flat. The, that's the top one. The bottom one is my shoulders rounding forward, which allows the weight to pull me forward and my chest is not coming through. So I wanted to demo um, how significant it is to be able to keep that chest up and shoulders back so that you w do not get pulled forward because that can allow you to miss a snatch if you um, let the weight pull you forward. So I will go ahead and play both of the lifts at the same time in slow motion so you can see exactly what is happening in um, good form and not so good form. All right, so you can see, I can rewind it here. You can see right away in that bottom position that I, I at the top here, you can see back's flat, shoulders solid back. Down here you see a little bit rounded back. Um, shoulders are getting pulled forward. And then as soon as I go ahead and pull, if you look at the top, I'm nice and tight, everything's solid, bar's actually sweeping back, but as soon as I pull on this bottom one, you can see that my shoulders round forward, my back even rounds a little bit, my butt's lifting up before my shoulders, and then I have to drive my knees and hips forward to be able to get into that power position, where if you look at the top, everything stays nice and tight, the bar actually is sweeping back. I'm using my lats to keep it back. Chest is through, and then I'm easily able to get into that power position. Bar stays nice and close, where on that bottom one, the bar, most likely because it's pulling me forward, it would come away from me if I was actually doing a snatch pull or going into a full snatch, and I'd probably let the bar come away from me, and I'd have to jump forward to catch it. Um, so that is crucial to be able to keep your um, shoulders back and chest through. It keeps everything nice and tight and, and you actually can't see my knuckles but I'm driving those first knuckles down to be able to lock those shoulders in and keep that bar nice and close. So hopefully this video shows you um, exactly what happens when you do get loose in your snatch pulls and I know this is only a snatch deadlift but it's the same thing, only I'm staying a little bit more controlled where if I was doing a snatch pull, things would kind of get a little crazy and I didn't want to hurt myself doing a snatch pull. So um, I hope this helps. Uh, it, it should help a little bit. And if you guys have any questions, you can always email me at brooke at crossfitoloff.com. Um, thanks for listening, guys.